Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Felipe Oliveira joined me today. So we're gonna make a quick round trip around the aquariums in the gallery of Green Aqua. And he's gonna give us some tips what he would do differently. Maybe. Yep. Shall okay. we start? Let's start with the first one. So the first this one. has been made by uh, Balaj and me. So I would say that there is not that much that we would like to change because uh, we looked through the paludarium. So only things that probably we're going to touch is a little bit of the submerged area, maybe adding a little bit more detail, some gravel on it, or just place some small rocks just to make a little bit more detail and contrast with the green. And also to avoid this floating parts where the, usually the fish take the plants from the bottom, but it's still nice that my OCD keeps the line straight. So it's okay. Maybe just a small clip here and there, just don't uh, let the plants be a little bit more evasive, yep. but more under the control. But in general, this tank looks amazing. Eh? Okay. We, we did a really amazing job. Thank you. Second one. Second one, let's this go. This has been done by Dave Chow. Yeah, I was here on that time. Yeah. I must say that it's a little bit uh, changed from uh, what we have seen on, the, on that time. Uh, I'm not saying that it's worse or better than that time. Uh, it's just a uh, personal twist. And uh, of course, uh, some change must, must be made to make the maintenance a little bit much easier. The only thing that we should do, and I believe that we didn't touch it because we going to, uh, we had an event over here at uh, Green Aqua. So usually not trim the, the carpet because otherwise it will not look that nice for the event. So I believe that we're going to do in the near future, just trim a little bit the Monte Carlo and make it more even to the uh, soil and also trim a little bit the, the pinatifida in a way that it stays short and more attached to the to the rocks. But in general, it looks really, really nice. I would not change that much. It's only normal maintenance that uh, I understand the point of view of not doing it because of the event. Yeah. Okay, next one. So let's go this for this one. This is done by Josh Sim, two times IPLC champion. So for this one, the only thing that catch me immediately the attention is all this line of the sand. I usually don't like it because uh, when we use a lot of uh, wood and, and also soil that is underneath, we usually make a uh, taint uh, base on sand, as you can see for the mark. And uh, usually this doesn't look so pleased or so nice for the people who are seeing it. So as a maintenance guy, I always just vacuum a little bit this sand, make it thinner as possible even make it growing towards back. And of course, if it's possible, trim a little bit the moss, take some excess, don't leave these big piles of moss in the, in the wood, but make it just a, a slight touch over the wood. So show more, a little bit of wood, keeping the moss, but not with too much volume. Okay, next one. So next this one. This is actually my tank. Uh, this is probably being a little bit uh, in the different way I was explaining before, by using too much plants, is a uh, very impactful layout. Keeping always same, the same thing, the line, and I think this can be controllable for the people who is doing the maintenance by just vacuum a little bit, or just using the car, just can press a little bit and make the line uh, very, very straight. Uh, some people like the undulated wave, they say that makes the flow and more natural feeling. But for me, it's like lack of maintenance. I would like to see the line, less sand, less soil, uh, not having the rocks so close to the front glass, and if possible, to make it trim. And even if it's not completely full, it's also nice to see a little bit in the soil and some plants. It, I think it turns it more natural too. So in general, it's okay. All the plants are placed, even a small, uh, contrast and mix of the different foreground plants works quite well. In general, it's clean. So I think nothing more than just uh, the front part of it. Okay, thank you. Next one. I don't remember who's done this. Uh, this one was from Fukada. I ah, think yeah. it's, uh, we keep the same problem here, but I think that later on with the trimmings, we can just fix it. Uh, and we can see this for the next one because it was done by me. We we'll see for the front glass, the minimalist use of soil and yep. also the sand. It makes much easier the maintenance. So as a maintenance guy, I always keep and try to make my tanks to be easier for the, the customers too. Okay. So then you are at your tank. Yeah, this is my tank. Uh, I am a little bit more picky uh, because uh, when I made it for the first time, of course, I had an idea. Uh, I knew that you guys placed some rocks in the middle. I was saying, oh, that this is not looking that nice. You are changing the concept of the design. Because when we trim something like this, this must be shorter on the front. 
moving uh, higher on the backwards. And mostly here, the area should be trimmed a little bit low so the wood can be seen through the horizon on the back. So it means next time when you trim it, try to trim it a little bit lower, going backwards uh, or towards to the sides, but also considering that it's lower on the front and moving higher to the back. So it's like more around the way, but forcing a little bit on the center. So in the way you can see also the wood because artscape must be seen. Okay, you see also for the sand, I have usually really a minimalist line. So if you want to make it clean, you can just vacuum and replace it again. And it's easy and very short. And uh, on the sides that make the tank a little bit more sleek with more depth back towards uh, the, the tank. So let's move that to the next Here's one. The big one from Barrage. So the big one. And this is a little bit tricky because um, when I look to this tank, um, a few things doesn't match. Um, mostly because of the, also coming back also the front. Uh, I would like maybe to see this in white sand because it's too much black. We don't see any too much contrast on the tank. Uh, and then also um, the way how the, the rocks were placed on the back were so probably I will not fill it up so much just near to the back uh, glass uh, because it looks like a barrier that is no transition. You lose a lot of depth. And also for the foreground, I would like to see some Eleocardis mixed with uh, some Glossal Sigma, trim it a little bit flush near the soil, add some details and let it grow. Because this, I don't think we're going to change. It, it is what it is. This is a part of the concept of the design or the initial design, uh, because making the contrast between green and black. So, but it was me in the kind of maintenance, probably with vacuum and replace some, some sand and make it even contrast even more. Okay. So Next this one. one, this one is uh, again from Balash, from and this Balash, is actually designed by a graphic designer, Evi Kedvesh. Yes, and from the tree, the thing that probably bring me till here because being known by the tree maker or uh, <laughs> yeah. the um, tree man from 2005 for the bonsai. I like this bonsai. However, I think that the thing is that um, there is not. Uh, an area, an empty area, and the, the, the tree itself, it blends a little bit with the background. Yeah. And uh, it's visible that some plants are facing some issues about nutrition because balance this tank with nutrients is very tough, mostly with the different foreground plants that is placed on the bottom just to keep them and make it not as in the other areas, it turns everything really, really difficult. Mostly in this tank, then it stream all the roots. And you can see from uh, Alternantera de Niki Mini that is suffering a little bit. No idea if it was regarding water change, some water conditions. But uh, I believe that if you trim it a little bit more, so in a way that um, you can keep the nutrients a little bit higher, everything can get on back on shape. Of course, it will give you a lot of work because you need to trim a little bit more often the foreground. But anyway, it's a really good job. Only in lack for more contrast in the background. Okay, so let's go to the 60 P's. The 60 P's. Oh, the first so, one was done just about an hour ago. Yeah, by, by Fukada. It was also my favorite uh, during the, the competition. Yeah, between you've made the ball. final choice, the final yes, vote is Mostly yours. because I am a plant geek guy, I would like to see more plants and I look to a tank considering the future. The future. So uh, this tank, I think with the time pass, with the plants growing and take the areas, it will give a lot of shape and a lot of colors and contrast. Uh, and also, I think it's a nice addition to your gallery because it will be a little bit different from all the others for the composition, triangular shape, because all the 60p you have is a different um, concept. You have a diorama, you have a single, uh, simple layout, and you are most about the greens. This one will have more a little bit color, so I think it will look nice. Let's go for the greens then. For this the greens then. By I the think Aqua Girls, Vicky and the For this shape. one, we still have the, um, the same issue. I, I believe that it takes a a long, long time just to trim this moss. Because this is the, the only thing that becomes in the moss when we use a lot of moss, we need to trim very often. If we don't do it, it's got get a big balls. And you see that for the wood, the wood is very thin. It gives a lot of details, but you let the, the moss grow so, so uh, big, it, it looks like massive and balls of uh, uh, moss turning the wood. So I know how difficult it is when you trim it, just trying to vacuum. And mostly when you have wood so close to the front glass, Maintenance will be very difficult on this one, but uh, I will try to give my best to trim the moss, or even if I had to take, remove the moss, I just glue it again, just, just like touch on it, and try to keep it always very tight and close to the wood as possible. 
Right. Okay. So it's this one now. is uh, how much? Uh, how it's many? It's by Daiki Araki from yes, ADA. Uh, two months. One month. Actually. One month. Yeah. Yeah, but this is a very clean design. I, I, I like the very clean design. I, I did myself in the Aquaphor Gallery, um, I think one month ago, and when I placed the wood, like I call that the forest, mostly when I was gluing and uh, trying to use more the empty space, not over full with a lot of plants that I usually I do. Uh, I also kind of inspired a little bit in the way how we place the wood by minimalist design. And this is the thing that I really always like to see. This very thin layer of sand. There is no uh, lot of ammonia created underneath the sand. So if you have any issue with the sand or not getting um, chlorification, so it's not getting dirty, you can always vacuum and replace very easily. Uh, not, that does not happen on the other tanks because they had a big layer and if you try to vacuum, it will be a mess. The soil will come to the front. This is a clean design. The only thing that I will do in this tank is try to trim the Pinatifida the much I can so we can stay very, very short and colorful and uh, just spread around and don't let them go to other parts than the wood and keep it like that. Yeah. And the last one from the, the 60s, Uris, from yeah. Uris, yeah. I remember this one. I was here on that time. I think it was the, during the 10th anniversary or my workshop. And it's a very tricky one. I did one of those, yeah. But, but I think it's it was almost between one of that. Um, this one also defeat the tank that was uh, on the uh, gallery awards or yeah, something like the that. Amateur escaping yeah. channel, yeah. So what I, the, the diorama escape that this looks really nice in this way. Um, the only thing is still always coming out for the level of the soil, but I think that was left by purpose because just to match the soil. So there is no a, a deep hole just to make like a path. The path really exists, but don't need to be uh, drained in a way. So we keep the same level of it. Uh, the only thing here is Ricardia. Ricardia is growing that fast, so I suggest probably just take it off a little bit, just glue some spots on it, don't make it look like a ball, because the moss is trimmed nicely, all the stem plants are nicely and colorful. The only thing is just Ricardia, don't to avoid to get too much volume, otherwise you start losing a little bit the artscape and the proportion of it. But in general, it's a really, really nice one. So have you finished or you still have more tanks to show? That's it. So, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us and giving us all these tips. I'm sure if some of us. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought it was really, really fast. No, but it, and somehow we had to do it quickly. So, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell button to get a notification from all the new videos. And if you like to support us, join our membership program. And see you next week. Hey, Goodbye. Take care. Bye bye.